Here's why wind energy is a very attractive renewable source. We know that a wind turbine converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. Kinetic energy is given by half mv squared. Power is the derivative of energy. So the power output of a wind turbine is given by half m dot v squared, where m dot is the time derivative of mass, the mass flow rate. Mass is given by density times volume. So the mass flow rate is density times volume flow rate. If we consider a wind particle as having a cross-sectional area A and traveling with velocity V, then we can see that the volume is the cross-sectional area A times length. Let's call it X, assuming that this is the third dimension that is a direction perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. We have V dot equals A X dot. But X dot is precisely the velocity of the particle. So V dot is A times the velocity. Substituting this, we get M dot is equal to rho A V. And plugging this back into the power equation, we get that the power is half rho a v cubed. Now, this is just a constant, so we can see that the power is directly proportional to the cube of wind speed. And this is what makes wind energy very attractive. If the wind is twice as fast on a particular day, then the power output would increase by eight times. Of course, this is only theoretical, and there are many practical limitations, but this is what makes wind energy a very appealing prospect.